Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you are the God of life and love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You show us examples of true service. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You laid down your life for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of grain. At this, the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need and he, he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God with Abathar, was high priest, and ate the bread of offering that only the priest could lawfully eat, and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. gives us the Sabbath as a gift. In Mark's Gospel, Jesus reminds the Pharisees of the original intent of the Sabbath, which is to remember God's creative work and liberation of the Hebrews from slavery. We could use a similar reminder ourselves. God gives us this day of rest to remember the purpose of work, to serve our neighbor, and to celebrate our salvation. In our first reading, the writer exhorts the community to imitate the faith of Abraham, who received what God promised after waiting patiently, and to hold fast to the hope that lies before us. In our gospel, when the Pharisees questioned Jesus about his disciples, his disciples' actions, he tells them, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. Let us stand and bring our prayers and petitions before the Lord our God. For the church, may the Lord help us honor him and his creation by keeping holy the Sabbath. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the Holy Spirit empower them Putting the needs of their people before their own desires. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all who are burdened by work, especially those who must work on Sundays. May God give them the rest, restorative rest they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for this worshiping community. May this celebration of the Eucharist increase our gratitude respect for all that God has given us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Deacon Bob Fritz, whose birthday is today, and for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they be reunited in heaven with all who have gone before them in faith. Let us pray to Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who work to serve and protect us, that God's protecting hand may be upon them in this time of unrest, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for, pre for peace throughout our nation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy and compassion, hear the prayer spoken before you this day, and those we hold in the silence of our hearts. Answer them in your time, we ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be thou forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be thou Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good all of his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we Acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewdrop, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the taking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we will be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Not in our sins, but the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other a simple sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Take away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, commitly spiritually into my heart, I choose to be one with you, Jesus. I want your heart next to my heart, your soul next to my soul, your body inside my body, and your blood running through my veins. I want your infinite divinity to fill me completely. Jesus, I want to be one with you in my thoughts, feelings, and desires. For what I say and do and what I do not do because of you, 
I embrace you now inside of me, Jesus, I love you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Most sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish Deacon Bob Fritz a very happy birthday today. Thank you for all that you do for Blessed Sacrament. Happy birthday. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel, Archangel defend us from God. Be, be our protection, protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a blessed day.